Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode number 10, count it 10, of the Students of the Game podcast. Today, I am joined here by the freshman of LVC, Rainbow Six, Nolan Spapo Spiwak? Spiwak, yes. Spiwak. I was waiting to butcher that one, even though we just talked about it. We just talked about it, yeah. Uh, how are you doing today, man? Uh, pretty good. Had an interesting day. Uh, no more Spapo mentions. Spapo's here. I, I've been seeing the comments you've been relentlessly <laughs> posting, and I mean, I've heard about it in person <laughs> too, so uh, it's good to get everyone on, and that was kind of the goal. Um, I'm actually slowly running out of players. We didn't have a big program this semester, so uh, kind of running low on, on, on people to grab in. That's obviously not a knock to you. It's just you're a yeah. freshman, so you haven't gotten to play yet, oh, yeah. but um, yeah. Let's let's hop right into talking about the team. Of course, again, uh, Rainbow Six. If you guys are unfamiliar, he, you've played in what, two games. Uh, three total. Three? Did you, oh yeah, you, did you play in any last semester? One, one last semester uh, to this semester. Okay, that's what I thought. I I, I remember casting. Have I casted? I think yeah, I casted one of my them. first game. Yep. Yeah, I casted one of them. Um, so let's talk though about the team in its current state. So Nationals is very fast approaching mm-hmm. um, this semester. You, you don't have to wait until the summer to get nationals. Thank you, NECC. You've changed your rules. You've done great. So nationals is approaching in a couple of weeks. Thoughts on the structure now that you get to see it for the very first time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the team in general now, uh, it's, it has changed a lot just from me viewing from mm-hmm. previous years. Uh, Andrew has really, really come around from what I've seen. Uh, I'm just glad I'm a part of this. Yeah. I mean, coming into a divisional title team, national champion team, and replacing some of the the core structure that's going to be a big challenge to step up to absolutely um so did you happen to see they literally just put this out and this Mm -hmm. is new to me too Mm -hmm. this is a brand new format for nationals so uh did you get to happen to see like how it's structured no i don't look at any of that stuff that's understandable but so the way it's going to work is um teams that win their division auto qualify for nationals so obviously it'll stay champions teams mm-hmm. will play in champions teams uh challengers will play challengers all that sort of stuff um so there's only two qualified teams mm-hmm. one being us and the other being texas tech so i'm very curious personally to see how they handle mm-hmm. especially rainbow six because what their goal was is to take the second place teams and have them run through an lcq but in rainbow you need eight teams in the nationals bracket and there's not six other second yeah. place teams. So uh, right now your second place teams are Oklahoma Academy and, or sorry, not second place teams. Your other teams that could qualify. Interestingly enough, Oklahoma Academy who was already has a spot in the LCQ mm-hmm. could guarantee their spot in nationals by beating Kansas state if they on uh, April 9th. So interested to see that one. Um, also, TMU will be taking on UFT, or sorry, not UFT, uh, TMU will be taking on um, Western for the finals of our division. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, we end up falling, yeah. so um, there was that. Also, I wrote TMU versus UFT twice, and they UFT got 2 0 by TMU really? in semis. Right. So I don't know why I wrote that as the final. Yeah. That, is, that is absolutely false. Yeah. But how so what do you know anything about these teams not um, really i mean just coming in here i don't know a lot about esports in general i mean yeah. i just i play the game and i do what i'm told to do yeah i know you've been around rainbow six but yeah. outside of that not not no, a lot like collegially yeah. so honestly i don't know a ton about these teams either outside of uh toronto metro uh tmu they used to be decent we struggle against them on game day so uh, unfortunately we don't get that matchup but I mean, I say, unfortunately, after I just say we struggle against them, but we don't get that matchup. Uh, you guys will be taking on T- UFT, uh, Toronto, Mississauga, mm-hmm. for the third place match, which will also take place on April 9th. You might actually yeah, be I, that, that. Dave said I'm probably going to play in that. Okay, so, so thoughts going experience. into that series? Uh, I mean, I'm just going to go out and do what I can. Obviously, filling in for Dave, so not a lot to do. Yeah. Sit on drones and just get into sight. Yeah, uh, I mean, Dave's role is – not saying that Dave's role is nothing, but yeah. Dave's role isn't as involved sometimes. It's, it's one of the more it's, simpler roles in the game. Yeah, I would I would definitely agree. Him and uh, Jack, yeah. both. Andrew's role is kind of simple, but it also relies on you being a gun. Yeah, it and, relies you to actually have some sort of game sense, awareness, and uh, just mechanical skill. Yeah, and, and Andrew is – one of a kind when it yeah. comes to mechanical skill. I mean, he's played everything. He played oh, yeah. Overwatch for us, CS, Rocket League, um, Valorant. Um, I mean, he played everything. Dude. Yeah. He's ever, any 
game that requires mechanical skill he has played for the us, Ryan which is Fitzpatrick absurd. LBC. Yeah, yeah, he is very versatile. But um, let's talk over on the NACE side because uh, that was basically Nationals' um, eight-team bracket, by the mm-hmm. way. Same as playoffs. Yeah. Just different way to qualify for mm-hmm. it. Um, obviously looking for back-to-back titles as well. Mm-hmm. So the NACE playoffs, um, I think we have talked about this a little bit, right? A little. Um, so you guys have a first-round bye, which normally you would have played the week we came back. Because mm-hmm. uh, also, if you guys are, unf- are unaware, which you are, because you can't see the date or time behind me, um, the, the our Easter break actually starts in, what, like an hour? Because uh, it technically starts at 5. Yeah, 5. So yeah. an hour and 20 hour minutes 20. Uh, is when our Easter break starts. Now, neither of us are going home. No, I mean, I live much closer. Yeah. We'll get into more of it later. Uh-huh. You live nowhere near here. But – um, so NACE playoffs, you guys have off next week outside of NECC. You have a couple of NECC matches, mm-hmm. but for NACE, uh, what are your thoughts going into that, knowing how the regular season I ends? mean, it's just a complete nothing league. Uh, last night after practice, uh, I believe Mike, Dave, and I were kind of talking about it. I believe Christian was too, just how NACE is nothing. I believe next year we might not even be a NACE, like going to move forward into CR6 uh, and I think Midwest. Yeah. Because I think Mike was talking about uh, Pennsylvania is getting like his own league or something. Or, like, really? Or like they're going into Midwest. It's something like that. You have to talk with him about it. But I know he was mentioning uh, Pennsylvania in Midwest. Okay. And – oh, okay. PA coming into Midwest. Maybe? Yeah, I think. Something like that. Because uh, PA obviously – well, I don't – I'm not going to say obviously. If you don't, If you don't know the U.S. map – uh, PA is not a Midwest state by any means. PA is East Coast. So um, we were actually going to play in CR6 this mm-hmm. semester, and then we had some objections. We were going, so, yeah. Uh, we ended up not being able to play in that. But on a, So for Nice, you guys will play the winner of Ferris State and Lackawanna. And to be honest, just, I watched both those series. Yeah. I mean, I didn't just watch. I, yeah. I had the misfortune yeah. of casting both those series. And even from my perspective. You didn't cast Lackawanna. Yeah. Oh, no, no yeah, Lackawanna, I was not here. Yeah, because I was playing in that. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't here for that one. But um, I watched the Lackawanna yeah. one. That's what it was. And it just – It's it's nothing. Even from, a, like, a commentary perspective, it's it, it gets tough sometimes with those NACE matches. And that's nothing against these NACE teams, by the way. It's just – especially because we're playing in Varsity Plus. We're not playing in Varsity Premier. It just kind of – it's very hit or miss if you have a good match. And, like, last semester we had, like, one or two, I think, yeah. that were good. And this semester it's just been a lot of yeah. nothing, to be honest. Because I think the cutoff for Varsity Plus was, like, Diamond 1 and below. Yeah. Which are when we have Dave and Mike who aren't Diamond 1. They're, they're both cha- champions. They're champs, yes. But, like, then you have the rest of the team who, and it's, like, who, that yeah, border. You're, like, I'm Diamond and you and Jack are Emerald. Brant's Diamond Emerald. Yeah. And, like, the only team that you guys played that gave, like, I don't even remember who it was, but there's one team that has, like, one champion, and then everyone else is, like, diamond. Yeah. It's, like, not even diamond. Yeah. And it's, th- like, okay. Like, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do. I think that was Ferris State. I think it was Ferris it was, State. It, I believe it was Ferris State. Yeah. Um, but it, it just, it's tough. Um, but I want to get your thoughts on the format as a mm-hmm. uh, new player, the round robin into playoffs, mm-hmm. uh, top six out of eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are your thoughts, at least of that, just as an outside perspective? I mean, I'm not – I don't really know what round robin means. It just means you play uh, – so you get put in a group mm-hmm. and then play every team in your group. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I mean, realistically, I think that is good. Like, so you – so the judges or whatever, whoever is looking at it, sees how you fare against each team. Yeah. And that should be, like, a easier way to place teams and do how it's going. Uh, now that I know what that is, I do like that yeah. round robin thing. Yeah. So – do you want to compare that a bit to the uh, NECC format where it's the same thing, it's mm-hmm. just activation, and now the, the split uh, yeah. division system with yeah. the AB? I mean, activ- I mean, activation is nothing, and it's good and bad at the same time. Yeah. I mean, I know we thought you talked about it with Michael how we should have been placed in Legends. Sh- Legends, yeah, but c- well, we played absolute nothing teams. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it gets us practice, but it doesn't really do much for our, uh, like, placing. But, um... I do I do kind of like the split divisions. It's kind of like referring it to baseball. It's like your AL and your NL Centrals. Yeah. Or like your AL, NL, which I do like. Uh, I feel like I would like maybe three another league, like uh, Cyan, A, B, and C, yellow, okay. A, B, C. I feel like that could maybe spice things up a bit more. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's my, that's my take. That's 
actually a good comparison. I never really thought of it that way. This is a new si- both or not both. Uh, the NACE system has been in place yeah. for a while, but the NECC system um, activation's always been a thing. But the AB system is new yeah. this year, so I, I was just kind of curious, even as a uh, as someone who's also new to this format. Um, personally, I think it's kind of I, I like it too. Um, it adds more variety because what would happen a lot of times was like NACE would, or not NACE, uh, NECC would be sending out trophies to the same school. I mean, you can go out outside and look like they'd be sending the trophies to the same school mm-hmm. like four semesters in a row because yeah. they had a really good team, but they couldn't like quite get to legends or like yeah. champions. So they would just be like a challengers team that was like a really really good team, but not good enough to like consistently compete in division. So. I think adding more teams to each yeah. tier ha- has been a very um, smart change, at mm-hmm. least, for, for NECC. So, let's go back now, uh, talk about how you got here, because you oh, have a really interesting yeah. story, especially because you're nowhere near the area, no. so let's let's get into that. Uh, so, originally, I'm from Granite City, Illinois, which is 20 minutes from St. Louis, which is a very, very far ways away from here. Drive, flight, Tw- 12 train, hour, twelve-hour drive. Coming up here, I dr- we drove the twelve hours, and then for breaks, I fly back home. But getting here specifically, it was. I'll, I'll talk about gaming first. So, I started playing games when like I was ten-ish, like in middle school. Coming back home, playing COD Zombies on the three hundred and sixty. Yeah. Like, and, and everybody loved those. Bo two, right? Bo two, yes. Oh, huge. Uh, then that just got me into the FPS gaming. Uh, in general, yeah. and then going up uh, with a big Destiny, Destiny Gamer, Destiny 2, lo- just love that series, just because I got forced into playing it. You got forced into yeah, playing it? Yeah, it was, some of the, like, the kids are great above me were like, hey, play this game Destiny, we need one more player. It's like, <laughs> okay, and then got me more into FPS games. It wasn't until, I think I was 13, like, 7th grade, 8th grade, I got a PS4, then I got Siege. And then I just started playing that casually because, I mean, it looks like a fun game. So did you get it uh, the first year it came out? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I think I started playing in, like, Chimera when, like... Uh, four? Five? Uh, six? Probably four. It was when Lion and Finca came out. Okay. When Operation... Because I mainly got it because of the Outbreak, uh, that uh, event, and it looked like zombies. I like zombies. Unfortunate, because Outbreak was horrible. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I was actually playing at that time. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is when I was even on console Rainbow Six. But I uh, I remember I was excited, too. The exact yeah. reason you were excited. Just... And then they let me down yep. with some one of the worst was, game modes I've awful. ever seen in a game of all time. Like, I, I would rather have Overwatch PvE that never was even made yeah. than, than that. I believe Fortnite Save the World would have been better. I played Fortnite. Save I the loved. World. I loved. Fortnite. I grinded I, the hell out of that. I think I. I when like it first came out, I got like the hundred twenty dollar bundle. What? <laughs> Why would you do that? It was a free game. <laughs> because I wanted like all the loot llamas and like the golden llamas. Bro, you could have just grinded. <laughs> you could have just grinded uh, for that. And now it's all gone because I never touch Fortnite ever again. Yeah. Well, I, I've played Save the World as of recently. It's the same thing. Yeah. I don't think they've made any updates. <laughs> I mean, they don't need to. Or no, it's it's a dying game. It, it, besides, it, it besides is Battle rough. Royale. Yeah. But uh, after after we started playing just casually, uh, school started to take over, and I always put sports over games because that was my that was my main focus ever up until uh, junior year, senior year, high school. I I like to consider myself like a D two ball ball player. Baseball. Went, yeah, baseball. Uh, pl- went to some camps. Went to. Uh, Played out for a lot of different travel teams. Uh, till high school. Uh, sophomore year, I was catcher first base, transferred into a PO, which is a pitcher only. Okay. So somebody only pitches. Yeah. Uh, sophomore year, I did great. And then junior year comes around, uh, get a partial tear in my UCL and a stress fracture in my elbow. So I'm done throwing. And then uh, just a bunch of like team politics, coaching, a bunch of kids. Made me fall out for the game and put me into put me into like gaming more competitively, and that's when I started playing Siege more. I believe 2020 for Christmas I got a little a little Omen laptop. Uh, I can send you pictures. We could put it down there. It's it's a uh, boy. It's something. It, I yeah. Was it like one of the gaming it branded a, ones? It was at a least? Omen gaming laptop. So my first PC was an Omen gaming PC, mm-hmm. and that thing was a trooper. 
1660, like 500 gigabytes of storage. I, I was that was one I first got into PC during Cold War uh, for for COD, and that was like my first experience was the Omen experience, mm-hmm. and it was like fine, but it wasn't yeah. like special. That's that's kind of how I was. I mean. My I can still remember my first game. It was like Christmas Day or the day after Christmas. We were playing Coastline, a bunch of my IRLs from Granite. I'm on the like trackpad with the you little were, things. You didn't have a mouse. You were using a trackpad. I, it didn't come in yet. So then I'm aiming. I'm like I can't pull down. I can't aim. I plug in a controller. No, I mean, <laughs> I, you had to do something. I plug in, but the thing is, I was on Discord and didn't have a second monitor, so I had I couldn't hear. I, oh, because it switched yeah, your audio. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. hear, and I didn't know how to like configure it yet. So that was that was an experience. It was good memories, but awful experience. And then, just during that time, I started like junior year. My mom's telling me, "Hey, you gotta start switching for schools. You're gonna be a senior. Gotta figure out what you would do in life." For the longest time, I always thought I wanted to be a vet, like work with animals, love animals, until the injury happened. And then next year, senior year, I don't play baseball. Yeah. I'm trying to, but again, bunch of bunch of politics, coaching, fall fall out love of the game. Uh, I start looking for being athletic training because I want to stay around baseball, stay around sports, do something that I still love. And then I get sent with an email. So I bet you could probably relate. Whenever like e- colleges email you, it's all the same generic Dude, BS, so robotic. Like you should look at our school. Like, okay, I'll look into it. Until I got one from LVC, from the baseball coach, assistant baseball coach, Bess Warner. Uh, seemed so personal. Like, so, like, she actually hand-read it, like, typed it out. And that I showed it to my parents. She go, hey, you should check this out. So, go on, do some searching. See some Pennsylvania. And, like, this looks interesting because I do – I've always wanted to move away for college. I never wanted to stay in Illinois. Okay. It's a uh, – especially Granite City. It's complete nothing town. Yeah. Like, it's it's not good. But uh, d- do some searching, figure out, I might want to go here. And then basically block out all of the colleges. Don't search up anymore. It, besides just the one that my brother was going to, Webster University. Where's that? Uh, Missouri, in Webster Groves, Missouri. It's so a, it's that's, a, I mean, that's obviously further. It's still east from Illinois, right? Uh, just south? That'd be west. Cause it's going, it's going to Missouri, like near, oh, yeah, going yeah, into Missouri, yeah. Webster Groves. Yeah. Uh, it's another D three school for baseball. Uh, and then I still remember just seeing the applying for the scholarship here for esports, because as I'm doing searching, look, there's an esports team. They have Siege. I play Siege. I'll apply anyway. I was like gold five. So how did you find out we had Siege? I was just looking on for like look at athletics. I saw esports. I go. Don't hit the. You are you telling me you hit the games page and it shows that horrible, ugly page that I'll, I'll put down here. Don't tell me you saw that I one. I think so. Oh, I hate that page so much and I can't change it. It's so bad. It just is like all these compressed yeah. like titles of the like thumbnails of the game and it's like it's... we couldn't think of any better yeah. way to display it. Oh. So I uh, I see the esports page. I go looking. It's a uh, pretty straightforward like scholarship information. So I go, that's kind of cool. I'm just a dog little gold five who's playing on a Logitech G203 with a twenty dollar Red Dragon keyboard. Hey man, those, it is. those things though. The first ones I didn't even. My first keyboard or my first gaming keyboard was the default. Microsoft oh. keyboard that they give you that's super thin. Yeah. I felt like a burger. I was already <laughs> I was coming from console just like yeah. you and I was like, dude, what is happening? Yeah, it, you it can't is. press the buttons, bro. It's so it was so bad. Yeah, it was awful. It, it, yeah, dreadful. So uh I apply for the scholarship, uh, and just pretty much set my heart on that this is where I'm going. Um man, what what else came after? Senior and then senior year, I start focusing more on esports. Uh, just completely just falling in love with esports. Start playing the game more. Start actually like looking, like watching pro league and starting to, like get into the esports scene. So you started your senior year of high school. So yeah, you've only been around esports for like a year. Yeah, like 
I kind of like I fo- followed esports like just not super heavy. Yeah, no, like I knew of teams. Like I, I yeah. mainly just knew TSM and BDS. Okay. Because those are the main two that would like MC, on the esports. Yeah, yeah. The main two on the team. So always loved TSM, uh, and I loved watching Geo Geometrics, mm-hmm. uh, who I think is the IGL for Sonics now. Yeah. But uh, he like looking up his key. I looked up his keybinds or whatever. I, my keybinds are like almost the same as Geo's because he aims with his mouse buttons, like leans with his mouse leans buttons with yeah. and prones with it. So I copied that, and that's just more comfortable for. The same ever since. Yeah, never changed it. <laughs> Again, Mike's always telling me, "Dude, change your change your keybinds. Like, don't lean with your mouse." But I'm like, I want to be like Geo. This feels good. It it doesn't matter how you get to the end destination, as long as you're long getting as you to get that there. destination. Yeah. that's what matters. Also, uh, although no speeding, please over thirty miles an hour over the speed limit. I can, I'm not legally allowed to drive, but like that's a different story. Oh, for are you not legally allowed to drive? That's uh, a long story. Okay. Well. Okay. So, uh, obviously, again, you're from Illinois. So, mm-hmm. as you are coming closer to like your first time on campus, that obviously, mm-hmm. like you did tours, right? I did one tour. Yeah. So outside of that tour, um, what was was there like a realization like? Ho- like holy dude like i'm moving across the country like not really because i always knew i wanted to be away from illinois mm-hmm. I, I i didn't want to stay like even going like five hours north to chicago yes as nice as it was and how much i probably would have loved it i didn't want to stay here i wanted some variety i wanted uh, a d- different scenery yeah and i think i found it i i I mean, I'd imagine uh, staying across the country is not always, is not it's usually not the, the same. No, it's not the easiest. That's one of the like the U.S. like is really crazy with that. Like, you go, you can go like thousands upon like yeah. I, I don't know the exact number. I didn't look it up, but like you you're probably what several thousand yeah. miles away from home right now, and it's like <laughs> yeah. I'm still in the same country. Yeah. Like, you go to, like, Europe, and it's yeah, like, it's oh, f- I'm in a different country. I'm speaking a different language, yeah, it's like, like, with a f- different people. Like, you're like- in France, 45-minute drive to Italy, and then Germany. It's – Yeah. Yeah. It's like each state, its own different country. Yeah. It's it's so different. It's insane. So, uh, where – so, you, you mentioned other options. So, only mm-hmm. – uh, you said Weber, right? Uh, Webster. Webster. Webster University. Uh, and then, obviously, like, the local c- – <laughs> like the community not, colleges? G- not really community college. It's a local college. Uh, good old SIUE. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember talking about yeah. that. Um, the reason he laughs at that is because we beat SIUE in the national championship mm-hmm. for the title uh, last sem- or last year mm-hmm. in the, the spring. That's why he's laughing. It was so funny just watching that. It's like, hey, I know people who go here. Losers. Yeah, I just win a game. I don't know. Just yeah, just, just shoot back. Yeah. So... What so now that you're here? I mean, you've been mm-hmm. here for basically a full year at this yeah. point. What has that experience for for you been, both as a student and as as a player? I mean, uh, as a student, first off, uh, so far, I say kind of normal college experience. I mean, to wake up, go to class, spend money on food around here, yeah, become become mind. broke. <laughs> Mind is awful. You're getting the college experience. Especially for you just broke. <laughs> especially for being like as picky as I am. I yeah, do not like rough. food. But uh I mean I do like all my classes, especially uh with the being an AT major. That is uh it it is fun. I like I like all my professors, especially uh Dr. Murphy. I don't you probably won't know him. I he's would not, the uh he, he's the advisor for uh for Mike year and then the chairman of the board, Dr. Frank. Love okay. them both. So, um, athletic training. I don't know basically mm-hmm. anything. Uh, the only other person I would be around that would even be in that building of uh, that you guys have is um, gra- has been graduated for a year now. Mm-hmm. Actually, technically two years. He was a graduate student last year. So, um, what I, I don't I don't know how to word this, but mm-hmm. what what has that pro- not process, but what mm-hmm. what has it been for uh, freshman year, fr- first year athletic training? So, uh, well. From my experience, they're, they're pretty much just, like, introducing you to, like, the anatomy field, like, the human body in general. Because just in that field, I mean, you have your anatomy and physiology, and then you have your intro to athletic training, and then you just have, like, your chemistry for sciences, which, yeah. I mean, you don't really need to know for AT. But it's not huge, but it still yeah. needs to be yeah. in there. 
and then just a bunch of the other gen eds. But it's for right now, it's just anatomy and physiology. Okay. So, on the other side of things, um, as a player, mm-hmm. uh, obviously you've been the substitute player. Mm-hmm. Uh, you came in. There's already a defined roster. I mean, they'd come yeah. off a national championship. Yeah. You can't They're replace a national that, championship. No. Yeah. So, what has that experience been for you behind guys like Plexus, mm-hmm. like Dave? Yeah. So... It, it has changed a lot since immediately coming here. Immediately coming here, uh, I I did have a little bit of an ego just see like seeing Andrew and Jack and just I I hate to say this I legitimately felt like I should start over these two. Mm-hmm. It just I that feels so bad to say, but and then like learning I just felt envious because yeah. I mean I would like a shot, but they they they've been here longer and they know what they're doing, and then as I'm slowly just sitting there grinding, working up the ranks, because I have improved a lot as a player since getting here, going from donkey little gold five to now hitting diamond one. Yeah. Such a big jump, yes, rank 2.0, but actually playing on a PC and with guys like Mike and Dave, like teaching me the ropes, I, I have improved a lot. And now I've grown appreciation for Andrew and Jack, like seeing the roles and what they do. Because as much as it looks like from the outside, they don't, it doesn't look like they're doing anything. Like, seeing it in person they know what they're doing they they've like perfected their roles yeah jack's perfected sitting in a box in cafe oh dude him and cigar that is especially his box. during that nas- nationals yes. run it was unstoppable that's his box no. I, I would watch him and i'm like dude you dropped five kills in the in the entire game and all five of them came in that same box like i cannot believe it's like you're watching it you think oh he's trapped in the corner someone go in the window someone throw nades in there but they just they get too ego pushy and then they're dead because it's his box. Yeah, it, it it's been it, especially like from an outside spot where you don't understand the rules. Yeah. Like even for me, it was a learning process. I didn't know Rainbow when Dave mm-hmm. when I Dave was like, "Please cast our games." I'm like, I'll look into it, and then I got into it, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Damn!" Like I I see all these things happening, and I don't understand it myself, but um, eventually over time, like yeah, you see that, and mm-hmm. it's it's insane to see. And I can imagine the uh, consistency in setup also yeah. is a bit beneficial. Yes, it's so much better from going from 144, like originally 75 frames, yeah. to I think I can get 240 on that. On these ones? Yes. Yeah, it should, should be around 240-ish, yeah. 250. Yeah. And then changing changing the headset, because I did have just like the Apple earbuds. Yeah. And then changing the keyboard. And then so grateful for Mike gifting me his G Pro wireless. Mm-hmm. That That's helped out a lot. <laughs> I can imagine those those yeah. mice are incredible. they're ex- they're expensive. They but are they expensive. they work wonders. Yeah. So, do you have any uh, the this one? I don't know if there's any answers for it. Are there any uh, interesting notes or observations you've made over the past couple last year? I just in esports in general, or all just honestly, here? yeah, sure, esports in general, the play, this team specifically, the leagues, any of any of that. Uh... Can we count how – I just want to go out and count how many times Dave said, I've whiffed in a game. I'm with you. I would love to count, but <laughs> that, that's a, I don't have the amount of time to do that yeah. because there's just way too there's, much. And then, honestly, I'm picking up more on, like, the lingo or slang here that Dave and everybody uses, like, gumption and bubba yeah. and, like, all that. And, like, coming coming from, like, near St. Louis, it's so, like, different consistent and like the consistency of talking the like pronunciation of talking because i know you guys like i say lebanon when lebanon lancaster lebanon 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 lancaster yeah and then you got lancaster that that's people from the area mispronounce it so like that's not something i would ever knock for but yeah it's lebanon lancaster and you, you, you get used to, you'll be here for another three uh-huh. years you'll learn it eventually. it's still gonna be lebanon i'm never changing yeah, some people pronounce because I think that's how the country Lebanon is pronounced. Yeah, it's so yeah. that's that that doesn't help at all. Mm-hmm. That we're outsourced or out outgrown yeah. by, by a, country. a whole country. Yeah, yeah, they kind of beat. They didn't even beat us mm-hmm. to that one. I think we got the name first. I think mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't even know. Also, it's like every state has a Lebanon or a Palmyra, because I know there's a Palmyra here. Going yeah, going that's back where Dave's from. Yeah, going back to Illinois, uh, near where my girlfriend Sophia lives. There is a Palmyra, like less than an hour away. Oh. Same thing with like a Lebanon. Like, it's like there's one in every state. There, yeah, it's a very common name. Um, 
And a lot of the times that I know, I know at least from the small amount of history that I know, um, sometimes it comes off of like the naming of a person. Yeah. Or like if it's a town that some dude really liked in the 1800s, they're like, I want to use that name too. And there's no legal reason to not yeah. use it. So they were like, oh, well, like now we got two of them. Like 17 well, Springfields. Yeah. And now we got 30, 30 bum town Illinois or whatever. Yeah. You know, like it's just kind of, kind of a mess, mm-hmm. to be honest. Um, anything else, uh, esports wise that, uh, you found, you've picked up or not, I mean, not really. I mean, just actually learning how it works and how it should be taken seriously. Cause it is, it's more than just a game. It does play a lot on your mental. Like if it's, it's like an any sport, if your mental is down, your mental's shocked, your game's going to be shocked. My mental's horrid. Yeah. I, I understand. It, full it, well. it, it really gets to you. It's and like, I like how Brant said it on his podcast, how the game is a knowledge check and a skill check yeah. because half the game is just knowing your positioning, knowing how to reposition, uh, knowing the map. It's, it's very knowledge based. Yeah. Very heavily, especially rainbow. Oh yeah. It is an insanely involved title. I mean, it's, it's actually kind of crazy. Yeah. So looking ahead, I mean, mm-hmm. again, you're a freshman. So this, this, this section is going to be a lot different than anyone else I've talked to because everyone else is like junior, yeah. sophomore, seen mo- a few mm-hmm. seniors. So I, I was gonna have nationals, but um, just I don't even know the teams because obviously yeah. we haven't figured that all out yet. But mm-hmm. uh, looking forward to nationals, just not even just for yourself, but as the team, mm-hmm. uh, what has the vibe been for that? Uh, it's kind of an up and down from what I've seen, at least. Uh, definitely, we have the talent, we have the capability of hitting nationals, winning it again, going back to back. But there's like there's times when who did we who did we just play? Uh, Eastern, Western. Western, yeah. Like, against that Western match, how we were complete off. That's a team and matches we should have won. Mm-hmm. Like, we should have won on border, and then we would have won on Skyscraper because they were an actual nothing team. But uh, you could just tell because of the, like, I guess a lack of practice almost, which it's just, it, what's not, like, lack of, it's just scheduling and, like, a bunch of conflicts that just didn't allow us to practice and that's kind of i feel that one of the realities of being a collegiate team yeah it's not as dry cut and dry as like you're available at this time i know yeah. you are it's like you got classes yeah. and then you got work to do outside of it and then you have this you have this meeting yeah. you have that meeting you have this job search you have this interview especially when you have seniors mm-hmm. on your team you know uh, the capstone projects like yeah. for andrew and i we have capstone so like that sort of thing yeah and then, uh, uh, what was I gonna say? it's like, especially with Siege, I'm going to, probably with other games too, if you take like a one or two day break, you are losing two to four days of like, eight, like work. Yeah. Because yeah. in like, it's like, unless you're training like every day or every other day, you are like going to slowly lose that, the mechanical input. Yeah. It's just, it's that drastic. Yeah. And I, I've noticed that myself too. It is a very um, demanding game. Yeah. It's something it, it, like Rocket League. Hell, I, I'll put it this way: I was playing with Mason uh, the other night, actually, and like, I mean, he was damn near SSL mm-hmm. for Rocket League several times, and he's just an insane player. And like, he stopped playing when he graduated. I put, and he he's played off and on, but not really seriously. I played with him the other night. It's like he never left, and I'm like, that's insane. Yeah. Like. I guarantee most players, it's at least in other titles, just mm-hmm. could not do that. Like Call yeah. of Duty, I yeah. mean, difference with Call of Duty is like different titles every year, mm-hmm. but like that, and then Rainbow, like Val, even yeah. CS, like very, very mechanically involved titles, and mm-hmm. you kind of do lose that after a while. Yeah. So, um, looking forward to next year, though, mm-hmm. um, you will be taking a spot on the roster as mm-hmm. obviously uh, Andrew and Jack both mm-hmm. graduate, um, reliable in the Senate, both graduate. So, what are you looking for in terms of that ne- that roster for next year? Uh, one looking for a fifth, I hope. Uh, yeah, I, the, I'm assuming we have someone lined up, but I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, I, I hope who the guy I've been talking to, Bricks, he uh, he will show up. Uh, it's just a bunch. It's just like personal issues from like fast and all yeah. that stuff, like actual co- college stuff. Uh, and then once we get a fifth, uh, I know. I'm very excited for it. I know Mike is very excited, especially I know Brent is very excited for next year mm-hmm. because just from hearing him after games, just like I like how you play, you bring a different energy here, mm-hmm. and I like that. 
he I know he's very excited for next year. I, mean, I definitely feel like we're going to be improving next year because yeah. I, I hate the shit on Jack, but the mechanical input isn't a hundred percent there. I guess because mm-hmm. like he it could definitely like get improved, but I think with two like two like in like newcomers coming in like young like younger gunners can definitely improve where yeah. it needs to be. Yeah. And it's and also I think it's a different pacing type yeah. of thing too. Like especially when you have someone like Michael, he mm-hmm. loves flying around the map. Yeah. I mean it, it's 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 insane mm-hmm. to watch sometimes. So maybe having players that are a bit higher paced yeah. and have that sort of ability and again, yeah, it's mm-hmm. not a knock to either Andrew or Jack oh, no. uh, who are graduating this year. It's just different players have different mm-hmm. play styles. And yeah. That's and the team could be we could see improvement. We could see Yeah. Uh, what's the opposite of improvement? Uh, deteriorate. No, not deterioration. deterioration. I, no. I guess kind of. No. Um, I couldn't tell worsening, you. Yeah. whatever that term yeah. would be, um, f- depending on what, what, what you get out of uh, yeah. next year's players. So I'm personally really intrigued, too. I know I won't be here either, mm-hmm. but I'm really intrigued to see what happens with next year. Um, I feel like I've been wa- – well, it's not because – I haven't been. It's because I have been. I feel like I'm watching Andrew and Jack play for centuries at this point because I have. I've experienced both of them playing for a super long time. So I do. I am a bit curious to see what happens um, when we bring in some new players to the roster. I think um, I I think there's genuine chance for an even better team. And this team is already really, really good. Mm -hmm. So saying that this team could improve is kind of crazy to me, to be honest. Yeah. but we'll we'll have to uh, see when we get to that point. Mm-hmm. So, do you have anyone, any people, places, things you want to shout out before we close? Yeah, out most the show? definitely. Uh, the few people, uh, my mom and my dad, especially my mom, she has done so much wonders for me. Like, if it wasn't for her, literally, I wouldn't be here. And uh, just like in general, all her like financial help and like her mental help for me, it's just. It's been such a blessing in disguise. I take I take it for granted so much. Uh, definitely, my girlfriend Sophia, love her to death. Uh, she's been so supportive through everything, especially being twelve hours away at such a long distance. It is it is very difficult. But, I can imagine. But we are making it work, and we will continue to make it work. Uh, just the the people who got me into gaming itself, like just all the old IRLs back home, uh, Mike, Dave, the entire team, and, and you for being here and chatting with me. Oh, dude, I love a chat. I always, I have a lot of chats, to be honest. This has been you. fun. I've been waiting for this for so long. This is the 10th recorded chat. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, oh, dear God, behind the scenes, it is, it is a lot, to be honest with you. I talk a lot. Oh, yeah. Um, but one, I do want to say, I always love hearing about supportive parents. Mm-hmm. Uh, not that my my mother is not mm-hmm. supportive. She absolutely is, but yeah. unfortunately she cannot watch. So yeah. she can watch these, but she can't watch. The I games. get you. Uh, well, so Spapo underscore on YouTube and Twitch. I post mid mid content. That's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Kind of funny. Yes. Um. Okay. So go follow that over there. But that is going to do it for us today. Thank you for coming on the show, Daniel, and I appreciate it. Uh, it. It's been different getting to talk with someone that's new this year. Um, mm-hmm. We don't really have a ton of freshmen, so um, getting to hear only from Only freshmen? Huh? Am I the only freshman? Uh, on, yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. So we had a couple that played on mm-hmm. Smash and a couple that played on Val last semester, mm-hmm. but this semester you're like pretty much our only freshman. Yeah. So, definitely a different experience and it, it's really interesting getting to talk to someone especially because like mm. i'm a senior so yeah. like i'm on the complete opposite yeah. end of the spectrum like i'm gone and like i've experienced what feels like at all at least in terms of college at this point so getting to hear from someone new definitely a different different type of chat but that's going to do it for us today go follow us on twitter and instagram at lvc underscore esports on both of those platforms go f- subscribe to us here on youtube uh we're only going to have a few more of these we're coming close to the end of the semester um we have, what, four, five four, maybe yeah. left, something should, like that. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how many more of those we get. Um, I think three or four will probably be about it. So we're running close to the end of this series, at least as it stands currently. Um, go so follow us on Twitch. Uh, turn those notifications on, twitch.tv slash Uh Turn those notifications on so you can see when we go live and who is playing and who they are playing. 
uh, that'll do it for us today. Uh, go check out the GoDutchman website as well. Uh, we post articles, try and post our schedule. I think it needs to be updated, but we can go deal with that at some point. So GoDutchman.com slash sports slash esports. Uh, go check out the articles we have over there. And also we see Levi's website. Uh, if you go to the sports category, you can see some of the esports articles we have put out. That'll do it for us today, though. Thank you guys all for watching. And it always, as always, means the world to me every single time. I will say that every single episode because it seriously does. But thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys here next week. And we bring on a special guest because I don't know who it is off the top of my head. Ooh. So we'll catch you guys on the other side. Peace.